Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanali the Don. I remain your host, Shed, if you're a 333. And we have another match, exhibition match. It's going to be 400 versus Gogo Dancer on. What the heck? I... Okay. 400 versus Gogo Dancer on Titan Duel. So let's begin. Pretty typical map. This is a very common map, so I'm sure most of you have seen this already. I mean, it's basically starting the corners, try to take the corners. Try to take the center. Splits down diagonally. It's pretty typical diagonal start map. It's pretty canonical as a diagonal start map, actually. Anyway, 400 getting up. Metal Light Vehicles and Slashers. While Dancer getting up more of a... Metal Dart and Mason setup. Now, Dancer being Dancer is probably going to play a bit more defensively. Although, maybe I'm wrong. Dancer probably has changed their style since I was watching the last... Last time I saw them, they played a really good defensive style. But that was over a year ago, so they probably changed up a bit. Anyway, looks like we are going to have some slashers. And not much that can be done about it. Kind of sucks for 400. Sorry, for Dancer, not 400. At any rate, it will be a... Quite a harassment here. 400 looks like they're going for a comm snipe because, I mean, considering the fact that they have all this stuff set up the way they do, that's why you do that, is for comm snipes. But at the same time, Dart in here, Dancer already getting in a nice little harassment bit, so 400 down a bit economically. Dancer doing a much better job getting their early economy set up. I mean, they have the early Masons as well, but the problem, of course, those Slashers are there. The Day of Reckoning has arrived, as the Slashers are going to come in, and there's not much to defend against them. Although, unfortunately for them, not able to meet up against the Commander all at once, and you kind of need four Slashers to kill the Commander. So this is not going to be a comp snipe. Bit of a scouting mission, some damage being dealt, but nothing really. No actual kills at this point. And no, it's not going to be... Oh, never mind. Actually, a bit of damage actually meaningfully being dealt. And some power being removed. And possibly a factor. Actually, you know, come to think of it. Oh, that slasher. No, why did you move? Why did you move? That was perfect. Oh, that slasher stayed right there. It would have at least had a chance of getting rid of the leveler and getting rid of the factory and doing... Or getting rid of the metal extractor at the very least. But no, it had to move and die. Got impatient. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so much. Not Scor Slasher. Scorchers, Scorchers, Scorchers. What the heck is wrong with me? I made this mistake. I was making this mistake before. I got over it. Now I'm back to it. What's wrong with me? But yes, Scorchers. Scorchers. Scorchers died. They tried. Slashers fire missiles. Slashers are missile trucks. These are slashers. I shall burn it into my skull. When I'm done. I don't want to do that now. The, the screams would get way too loud. It'd probably distort in the microphone. But yeah, I'll deal with that later. Anyway. Slashers are right here. And now coming out for 400. Not sure why. Slashers... I mean, the levelers are up, so I guess that's kind of why. Normally, Ravagers are more the counter you'd use rather than slashers. Slashers are a bit difficult to make work in this situation. But hey, that's what we're seeing. Both players actually going for slashes right now. I don't know why, but that's what we're seeing. Like, I don't know what it, what the motivation is for getting the slashes right now. For both players, too. I mean, guessing they're guessing that the other one's going for slashers, so we just try to get more slashers and win slasher wars. I think Dan's got the right idea with the Wolverines, though. That's something to help deal with them. But yeah, against Leveler, I don't see much point. This is just going to be a painful death for that Slasher. Quick painful death, but a painful death nonetheless. And the other Slasher prudently avoids because it does not want to die. It has a life to live. It has kids at home. I mean, it doesn't, but it said it did. It wanted to gain sympathy. It's kind of pathetic, really, that it lied to gain sympathy, but, you know, it's... It has a survival drive. It might be overactive at this point, because that slasher is doing nothing. I mean, seriously, 400, are you going to get that thing out there? I'm guessing it's being used for defense, or kind of, kind of to hold the line, but Dancer is setting up in such a way that that's not going to be relevant. And there is radar. I mean, 400 is well aware that there's stuff... There's forces massing on the north border. They just aren't... Okay, there we go. Now they're getting some stuff set up for it. So again, you, your army split up 400. Why? 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 But the answer is that only one was in position at first. Eh. 
and, and that failure raid? I mean, they lost four Scorchers, and they killed, like, a solar plant. So they lost about 500 metal. Anyway. At this point, Slasher Wars are going to go in favor of 400. Quite convincingly, actually. Now, it'd be kind of nice if both players actually were to produce things. They seem to be setting up their economies, but not really producing much. 400, however, definitely making that work. Like, actually building things and getting their commander set up. Well, Dancer, what are you doing? Okay, getting a Geoplant, fair enough. Otherwise, I don't see much. I and mean, it doesn't look like the whole lot is being actually done with this. There's a Geoplant, that's about it. The Slashers are set up, and, well, that's... That's giving 400 a lot of room. I mean, the Northeast is theirs. They just need to get a couple of masons up there, and they have a couple on the way. So, yeah, the Northeast is theirs. The Wolverine's finally getting set up. And... Yeah, this is... I mean, that's going to be a problem. The Slasher's already moving out of the way. 400 getting them out of the way because... You're going to have a hard time dealing with Wolverines. Dealing with Claw Mines. It's not impossible. I mean, if they're in position... If they're in position when the Claw Mines hit, they can, but then it distracts them, and it makes it harder for the Slashers to deal with other units trying to come in. So that's... Very rapidly open things up. Dancer is able to just walk right in. All right, fine. That's that's the thing. Might as well. You no, know, once again, I mean, 400. Why did they move out of position? I mean, honestly, yeah, the Wolverines are a bit of a threat, and the claws can distract the slashes annoyingly. But now the slashes have to get into position in a minefield. Like they have to walk into a minefield. There's no chance of them shooting the mines first. There's a chance of them getting missed by the mines, but yeah, there's no chance that they're actually going to be able to stop the claws from landing and deploying. Whereas if they were in position, they could. But now Slasher Wars are going in Dancer's favor, especially with the support forces. The Leveler is doing a great job here. And finally, 400 getting those Ravagers up while Dancer gets more Wolverines. So I think 400's taking the right choice here. Like They're getting the Ravagers up. They have a decently strong economy. They are building, right? No, why do they not have... They have no caretakers or masons next to their factory. Why, their factory is just going up 10. It needs to be a It needs to be higher. I don't see why 400 is not... Yeah, now 400 is accessing. No, 400, you gotta set this thing up. Dancer, at least, they've got themselves set up for energy. They are also accessing due to not actually queuing any production up, which is bizarre. Are they forgetting to use infinite Q? No, they have, they have repeat Q. Not sure what's going on there. Very bizarre. Anyway, 400's commander committing suicide unproductively. What did I say about that? Find a productive way to commit suicide. Seriously. Or don't commit suicide at all, but if you must, don't do it like that. Like, seriously, 400 had this game in the bag, and now that they've lost their commander, the southeast side, or southwest side, is pretty open. There's not, there's nothing protecting it. So the southwest expansions are in jeopardy. That's six metal per second right there. That's done. Actually, eight metal per second because of this one over here as well. If Dancer applies pressure to the southwest, there's not much that's going to stop them to get rid of six to ten metal per second for 400. So Dancer, I don't know if they're going to do that, though. They're much more focused on the north side. I don't... I don't know. 400 taking the north side and is going to be able to probably deal... Actually, yeah, they'll be able to deal with this army without issue. The defenders will be a bit of a roadblock, but the Ravagers will tank it no problem. So this is pretty much over for the North Side or North Side Army. Dancer is not doing too well right now. Good try with the Shieldbot Factory, but a little bit too late. If they had been a bit earlier, they probably would have gone for Outlaws or... Nah, why they go for Outlaws? I mean, Outlaws would slow, but probably just go for Racketeers. That's usually what you go for. Yeah, but now 400, getting rid of pretty much everything that Dancer has. Going, prioritizing the Masons, because that's what you do. Get rid of them. It makes it harder for the, everything to rebuild and for the economy to get reclaimed for. And Slasher should be gone too. The levelers were already gone. Wolverine's being a problem. Actually, being quite a problem. Just Ravagers driving into minefields, because why not? Who needs life? Well, you do. But yeah, the minefields actually deterring 400 a bit, but the North Side army is still getting destroyed. The Shieldbot factory is still going to, well, what's the nano frame of it? It's still going to get taken down. So overall, that assault to the north was very successful. 400 taking the northeast expansion as well, and while the southwest isn't being developed or defended, there's not much. I mean, there's a couple of lotuses, but otherwise not much. So no. 400 
they're pretty secure in the southwest just for having distracted Gogo Dancer, pushing Dancer up north. That's really the that's the real story here. Dancer got distracted, and 400 is able to keep a naked or an almost naked expansion from getting torn apart. At the same time, though, the Wolverines are being a problem. We should be seeing an air factory sometimes. No, 400 going for gunships. Really? I would have expected planes, napalm bombers, or, yeah, phoenixes. Planes and phoenixes. That's what I would expect, because that would get you everything. I just burn up a minefield and you're done. But nope. It looks like the, well, the raptors are just going to avoid where the minefields probably are, and then go from there. Tearing apart where they can. Proxy shield bot factory, however, has been built, and I don't know why. Now, oh, fel felon? Felon? What? I... Okay, just refresher here in the mechanics. Felons fire their shields in order to deal damage. Ravagers have almost almost 1900 health. Like, they have 1850 health. A single Ravager is going to basically stop an entire felon's shot. So, like, 75 HP of shield. They have... Where's the shields? Oh, shields aren't on this... Why are shields up there? I don't have to look here. 1,200 shields. 75 shields is just a shot. That's... A, that is 16 shots. That's 1,600 damage. A sing, An entirely charged felon shield can't kill a single Ravager. The Wolverines are a great idea. They're doing a wonderful work. The felon makes no sense. Even with support, it might kill one Ravager. As demonstrated right here, I do not understand. Like, Racketeers would make perfect sense. Felon is the exact wrong thing to use. So I do not understand the point. I don't understand the idea. I think the thinking was Felon is high level shield bot factory. Shield bot power. No, not against not against Ravagers. That's not gonna work at all. But the landmines worked. The Wolverines worked, the Dominatrices did some work. So it wasn't a complete wash, but. The felons are a waste of cash. And Dancer's entirely investing in them, too, so... I, I don't get that. They just do not work against Ravagers. I mean, the, and the Brawlers coming up, they're not going to fare much better, either. At any rate, 400 and Dancer, both relatively even economically, though. In Dancer's case, that's purely because of all the reclaim, thanks to the Ravagers dying. I mean, it's not like it was for free. There have been a lot of Ravagers dying in Dancer's territory. They've been reclaiming a lot of them. I mean, all this stuff up here has been reclaimed. And this minefield down here will probably get reclaimed right now. It's getting reclaimed right now, actually. So, Dancer doing a good job with the reclaim. They kind of have to, though. 400 is ahead territory-wise. But now, this is what I was talking about. Getting rid of the Southwest. And like I said, it's basically naked. So, the Felons do work against this. They're not totally useless. Just the Ravagers counted them, pretty much. So I don't understand why they were gone for when Ravagers were the entirety of 400's army. I mean, now there are Brawlers, but that's still not known. Like, all the Brawlers are going to the northeast, going around the side. So Dancer, I don't think... Does Dancer know? Dancer has no... They won't know until it's too late. They'll know when they cross this area here. They cross this plateau over to the north. That's when the Brawlers will be revealed on radar. Not before then. So... Dancer is going to be quite distracted. They'll probably just continue forward into 400's base, try to do what they can, and the Ravagers will stop them. Yeah, so the Brawlers coming in for 400, that's going to be the thing. But the Ravagers aren't actually defending. I mean, the thing is, I think the Ravagers, I think 400 is going, okay, I'll hold this line where all the mines are and make sure the Felons can't come past that, but abandon the North, the Southwest, because it's kind of done. There's not much for it right now. But now the Brawler's up. What's Dancer going to do? Nothing. They have no plans. They have nothing here to deal with this. So the Brawlers should be able to just wreck everything. However, Dancer is split up between two bases. They have the one factory over here with all the economy and all the wind generators and such. But they have another pretty much self-sufficient base over to the south, the Geo Plant, and a Shieldbot factory and all this other, all these other support structures. Well, mostly some defense. I mean, some defense, some caretakers, stuff like that. So, losing the Northwest base while a blow is something Dancer's actually prepared for. And indeed, Dancer is just advancing 
as a counter assault into 400's base, and 400 really only has the one. However, at the same time, it's just a matter of time. 400 will be just coming down south and getting rid of this base over here, too. There's not much to defend here, either. A razor is being built up. And it is up, but it's not going to be enough. The shieldbot factory will still go down. Actually, the razor is going to go down. Wow, it's melting. So HP just melting, and that's it. And that's going to get rid of the commander, going to get rid of the felons, going to get rid of everything. This is done. Commander's done. Factory's done. The assault force up here is about the only thing left for Dancer, and that's going to be done pretty soon. These brawlers were just where 400 needed. Bit of a risk to throw them out there, but Dancer did not read air being switched to. Didn't have the defenses up in time, and the brawlers were able to just completely wreck everything. So yeah, a good demonstration of how that works. Although, honestly, I don't understand the felons. I still... I, the wolverines make perfect sense to me. The felons do not. The impalers kind of make sense. It's... Yeah. It's an awkward way of doing things. It's an unusual way of doing things, of going pure artillery. But it makes sense to me. I feel like the felons... How much, how much money was invested in the felons? Of the surviving ones, 33,000 metal. That, if the light vehicle factory was still in play, could have been, like, 10 Ravagers. Or another 12-ish Wolverines. Actually, that's just surviving, too. That's not even counting the ones that died, of which there are, like, three or four. I don't know. Oh! Hmm. Okay. Okay, it's an interesting idea. I think... Hmm. No, never mind. It's... Yeah, never mind. They're talking about the brawlers. Anakin's talking about the brawlers in chat about the fact that brawlers basically wreck face because unless you have dedicated AA, they're going to live and they're going to kill everything. As opposed to, say, Banshees, which Flex AA deals with. And, hey, Blastwing Mind Clearing. That works too. I mean, it's a bit more suicidal than using Phoenixes, but hey, Gunship Plant's definitely the popular choice, and it works. Unfortunately, it also sets everything on fire, including the Raptors that are coming through, so it works partially. It's not a bad idea, but it does actually hurt everybody. Like the Dante in last game, it hurts everything. Fire hurts everybody. No one wins when someone's on fire. Except maybe the fire. Fire wins. But fire always wins. Don't play against fire. Okay, I guess if you have water, then it doesn't always win. Or carbon dioxide foam. Depending on the type of fire. So fire usually wins. At any rate, Dancer in a bit of a last stand here. Not much they can really do. It's just a matter of how long 400 is going to take to actually deal with this. Getting more brawlers up, which I don't totally agree with, that that chainsaw is making short work of them. So we're really just feeding metal at this point. The Ravagers are doing an okay job, but the Ravagers are, of course, getting wrecked by a dominated brawler. So that's also a problem. So the one thing that needs to happen here is... Wow, that's a weird LOD thing. But yeah, the one thing that needs to happen here is that... 400 needs to get some way of getting through to getting rid of these felons and getting rid of... I mean, the felons actually... The Raptors could get rid of them right now. The Brawler's really intimidating them, but they could wreck the felons if they get got up to them and killed them. And going for the Air Factory, which is probably going to be for Wyverns, I would guess. Or... No, not Wyverns. What am I saying? Thunderbirds. It's always going to be for Thunderbirds. Always the first guess. If they have an Air Factory, they're going for Thunder. They're going for Disarm. So yeah, the Thunderbirds should be up. That'll stun out all the felons. That'll stun out everything. And then from there, it'll just be a matter of destroying with the Ravagers and Brawlers. And yeah, okay, the Felon Blob has damage output, but it has the damage output to kill four Ravagers out of an army of 24. So yeah, 16% of the Ravagers die. The other 83% of the Ravagers kill everything. That Felon Ball's got nothing. The Wolverine support, that's got something. That's a problem. But the Felon Ball, no. That is that is not a threat, mathematically speaking. But there's the Thunderbirds, which will nullify what little threat there is. And from there, we'll basically seal the game. I think. 400's actually not that far behind economically. Sir, not that far ahead economically. Especially with all the reclaim being set up, so it's... Like, I don't want to count Dancer out. Because Dancer, yeah, they're having a hard time, but... 
They're not doing terribly economically. They do have the Dante, which will be a bit of a threat. I mean, there's not a complete clock, because I don't think the Dante will outright win. But it could put Dancer back in a position where they have a chance. Although, that being said, the Brawlers are coming in here, getting rid of the minefield. And there's the Thunderbird. There's that Assault, and this will probably do it in. And yeah, one or two Ravagers going down, the minefield not being a threat, and that is, that's done. Dominator Seeks being a problem, but once they go down, that's another Brawler for 400. There it is, there's a Brawler back at 400, the Ravagers back at 400 again. The Wolverine's doing everything they can, and doing a pretty good job too, because these Ravagers, there's 13 left. I mean, half of the Ravager army died in this fight. But the Dante has been spotted. It's probably going to go down. At the very least, 400 is well aware there's a Dante, and there's no money left. All of Dancer's economy, I mean, Dancer's economy being entirely convict at this point. They're not reclaiming, so there's no economy left. And there's the Phoenix, and I finally built one of them. I thought, like I said, I thought be for the minefield, but nope. For the convicts. Not a bad idea either, but that is it. And, uh, okay. Apparently Dancer is having cat problems. And yes, Shaman is right with this label here. Thugs would have been better than felons. It wouldn't have been ideal. I still think Racketeers... Maybe Racketeer Thug would have done it. And Bye, Ravager. But yeah, that would have possibly done it. I don't know. That's That'd be tricky. Like, shield versus light vehicles. At this stage in the game, Racketeers really are the best bet. Oh yeah, the constructors were there for the felons. That's true. There were about two dozen of them. So that does increase the damage output. I don't think it increases the damage output enough that they can threaten two dozen Ravagers meaningfully. But I yeah, the Thunderbird is definitely safe. You don't necessarily know. 400 doesn't know that Dancer only has that many. So it could be that you'd lose them. They might not know. There's other support forces. The Dante could have been built. It could, the attack could have been two minutes later. There could have been a Dante there. So Thunderbird's not... Thunderbird's prudent. Thunderbird's a good idea. I just think that the felons on their own, when there were just five of them over here, could have been taken by 20-some-odd Ravagers. The Brawler support caused problems, but no, the Ravagers could have taken them. Anyway... That's that. So I hope you enjoyed that, despite my confusion about the felons. I mean, okay, there's some arguments going on about how felons are good for... Basically, felon convict allows the felons to wreck face with all the convicts because there's so many shields that they can get rid of a Ravager Ball, or at least heavily dent a Ravager Ball, while the convicts then re reclaim everything that gets out of that ball. That's a fair point. I mean, Ravagers would have died, and then Convicts would have been able to reclaim, so that would have been money for some, to some extent for Dancer. And, I mean, Dancer was reclaiming a lot. They reclaimed 7,000 metal. I mean, that was most of their economy was a reclaim. Their base income was doing terrible compared to 400. It was really economy. It was really their, their reclaim that got them back into the game, or got them into the game enough that they weren't going to die all the time. And even then, they didn't. They were still behind. At least in terms of reclaim, there's a unit value. Wow, they were ahead the whole time? I mean, I guess they were. They didn't really lose a whole lot. They just let 400 take a lot of the map. That was the real thing. And didn't kill a whole lot either. Anyway. Yeah, they built the most. Lost the most, but built the most. I always like looking at the statistics just to see how that goes. Excess, of course, being the most important one. And 400 did excess about as much as Dancer reclaimed. So that actually was a quite the swing there, now that I think about it. Well, anyway, that's that. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a good night.